What, 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 what? Hello! Yes, I am back! I have gone through the cyclone, I have returned from Japan, and I have returned from Fodu. Uh, there will be another video about each one of those little update videos, but for now we're going to get right back into my normal uh, two video a week content, beginning with this Q&A! If you were to get a bird fursuit, what type of bird would it be and who would you choose as the maker? From someone who didn't leave their name. I've actually already got this planned. Um, probably not for a while because I'd like to save and go to some American cons first. But uh, I have a character that is a pan can. Pan cans are panda toucans. And they're really cool little birdie characters. And um, this is my one. Look at him, isn't he awesome? His name is Zoot. Um, he is based off my black cat Konya, which uh, passed away last year, made me very sad. So I thought I could have him live on through a fursuit. And the maker of this suit would also be the person who is the creator of the species, which is CF Studios. Dear Pakari, what can I do if I want to save up for a fursuit but don't have a job? From Lord Churro. Well, you can always do this. I'll never afford a suit. I'll never have a fursuit in my cool world. Questions like this, asking how to save up for a fursuit and stuff, always confuse me. Like, well, you do the thing you do when you need to save up for anything else. Like, when you need money, what do you do? Well, go do that thing and go get some money. Saving up for a fursuit is no different to saving up for like a TV or a holiday or it's just not the conventional thing that people will spend that much money on. To get a fursuit you have to work, you have to save, and you have to budget. It's not the most easiest thing to do. And if you don't have a job or any other ways you can save money then I'm afraid you are just out of luck. So Pakari, what would you do if you could buy whatever you want with infinite money from Omnicron the Wolf? Well for starters I'd buy us a house. A house would be great. Uh, I'm currently filming this at my friend's place where I'm staying because we don't have a house. Uh, I'd pay off my girlfriend's debts. I'd pay off my debts. Uh, I'd pay off my parents' debts. I'd probably give like half of it to my parents anyway. Uh, but once all the financial burdens are paid off, uh, I will probably travel. Take my girlfriend and myself to all the conventions and stuff around the world. That'd be fun. By the way, if we reach my next patron goal, I'll actually be able to start saving to go to the US. So check out my patron and maybe help and I can come see you all finally. Hi, how are you today? From Nameless. I'm alright, being better, but thank you for asking. What kind of hate did you have to deal with when people knew you were a furry for the first time? from another person who didn't leave a name. Well, in real life, uh, really not anything. Like, I apparently picked my friends very well and I have a very accepting family, so I didn't have any issues there at all. Uh, online is another story. Of course, trolls are gonna be itching to prey on a brand new furry who hasn't dealt with all the darkness of the internet before, so of course my Instagram and my Facebook got flooded, but eh, block, 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 problem solved. I love your bottle episodes. I oh, thank you. Have you ever worn your fursuit to non-fursuit conventions like Comic Con and places like that? From people still not leaving their names! Okay, it's kind of sad, but I have never been to a convention that wasn't a furry convention. I'm trash. Now, I've always wanted to go, but I just haven't had the opportunity or the money at the same time. So, I will eventually, but um... Back to the question though, if I had gone to one, I would not wear my fursuit there. There's a lot of uh, hate towards uh, furries at non-furry conventions. I think it's mainly because, you know, furries have their own conventions, so when there's a gaming convention or something, people are like, oh my god, furries, what are you doing here? Let us have our convention, go do all your furry stuff at your own cons. I hear Comic Con's really bad, like uh, a friend of mine went to Comic Con when it was in Melbourne and uh, he didn't even fursuit or anything, the only furry thing he had was a bumper sticker on his car, and his car got egged. So, <laughs> uh, first sitting at non-furry conventions can be a little risky, but it's your own choice. I wouldn't recommend it, but if that's what you want to do, your funeral. What species is a Dezu? From, why don't you leave your names? A Dezu is a Tasmanian devil. I was a Tasmanian devil before it was called Dio. Just kidding, Dio, I love you. But yeah, um, if you don't already know, I am a 
born and raised Tasmanian. Didn't move out until I was like 18, 19 for uni. Lovely place. And I thought it would be cool to be a Tasmanian devil who is actually from Tasmania. So, yeah. She really doesn't look like a Tasmanian devil, so I get that people don't really see the species in her. But I don't care, I know she's a Tasmanian devil. Uh, I would like to design a like primal version of her, which looks a lot more Tazzy devil y. Uh, I'll do that at some point when I get past my art backlog, which is like this long. Do you have any old art you could share, please? From yet another nameless person. I do have a lot of old art from my uh, initial cringy furry days, <laughs> and it is out there if there's any good sleuths out there that can find it. But mm, I don't know if I want to share it. I want to leave it as like a reward for those who have really good internet digging skills. Alright, 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 I will show you one, but you've only got one frame to catch it. You're gonna try and pause the video on the right moment. Alright, you ready? Did you get it? Does your Morpheless suit head feel warmer than your Dexter Zombie suit head? Is there a big difference in warmth between them? <sighs> From someone who didn't leave the name! There is actually a lot of difference between the two of them. Um, if you don't already know, Adezu's head is made of resin, while Pakari's is made of foam. And Adezu's also has a fan in the muzzle. Despite the fan, I still find Adezu's head a lot warmer. Because one, Pakari has a lot of better um, ventilation with the open mouth and the big eyes. And with Adezu, resin doesn't really breathe very well. It's a solid, plasticky material. Like, air won't aerate through it. So even with a fan, it still gets very, very hot and stuffy in there. You wouldn't think so with Bakari being the bigger head and made of like nice warm squishy foam. But no, Bakari's head's actually cooler. Hey Bakari, first I want to say you're in my top three favorite person and you inspired me to start doing more videos on YouTube. Ah, thank you, that's awesome. Please keep doing videos. Uh, anywho, my question is... Uh, anywho, my question for you is, have you ever considered to open yourself for art commissions? And did you draw your own ref sheets yourself or did you commission them? If so, by who? From... Chiny, Ratches, and Ash. Well, they left their name, yes! Uh, I actually do art commissions pretty regularly, uh, despite lately after everything that's been happening. Patrons get first dibs on commissions, check out my patron. But yeah, I always open for commissions when I just need some extra money or I've got a lot of time on my hands and just need something to do. As for my ref sheets, um, <laughs> they're all done by different people. Uh, if you're talking about Pokari's one, uh, here it is here. This was drawn by my lovely girlfriend Kiba. She did the line art and then I did the colouring, the layout and everything else. If you want to know who any art I have is by, uh, on Fair Affinity, if you scroll down and look in the description, I'll always have a link or a name or something that tells you who the original artist was. Hello Bakari, I have a question. Talking or not talking in fursuit, which one is better? Also greetings from Belgium, from Anuko. Hi Belgium! Whether or not a fursuiter talks is completely up to the person. There's no real right or wrong kind of answer. Uh, people always say you shouldn't talk in fursuit if your jaw doesn't move, but hey look at me, breaking all the rules. Pretty much everyone won't talk in suit if they're suiting in public, but when it comes to convention spaces and homes and parties and stuff, no one cares, we just talk anyway. But yeah, entirely up to you. Alright, that is it for this week's Q&A. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'll do YouTube comments next week, so please leave me some questions in the comments below. I'll check my previous videos for more questions too. And I will see you then. Actually, I'll see you this weekend for the next bottle episode, because bottle episodes are back. Alright, I will see you then. Bye!